guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here. Today we're going to be taking a look at building a hockey goal from some PVC piping. Now you can see that we've already got all the bits laid out in front of us over here. We're going to be chopping them, uh, trying to measure them up to size and trying to get this done as, as accurately as we can. But obviously it's not going to pan out as accurate as the instructions that we have in front of us are going to be because we're going to be kind of just freestyling it and chopping bits as we need to to get them to fit. So we've got some instructions over here. All of the printouts for the instructions will be down below in the video description if you want to do this yourself. Everything that you need will also be in there. So let's make a start on this and see how we get on. So in terms of what you're going to need to be able to do this from home, it's definitely advisable to have some rough um, instructions or just an outline to sort of follow so you know what the goal needs to look like when you're done um, to sort of um, guess how many pieces you need to have. All of the um, details for this will be down below in the video description. I'll post a link down there where you can download one of these and off and also print it out if you need to have a hard copy with you. You're definitely going to need a saw that's going to be able to cut through the piping that you have and a tape measure so you can measure everything out. In terms of the piping itself, we went with um, uh, 10 bits of this uh, black piping that you can see over here. It's 3 meters in length and we had 10 of them. That should, you can see there's a lot left over so we should hopefully be able to build a second goal from what's been left over. And the net end, of course, this is going to be probably the hardest thing for you guys to be able to find. You can go to um, parks and schools to see if they have any second-hand um, cricket netting that they don't need. Otherwise, you're going to have to search online to be able to pick one of these up. But of course, I'll put a link in the video description for you guys to be able to um, go out and buy one of those. So what we have in front of us over here are all of the bits that we're going to need to set up the goal that we're going to be building. The size of goal that we're going for is a 72-inch uh, um, goal, so it's going to be uh, hopefully as close to regulation size as we can get. This is what we've been um, left with after we've chopped down all, the, all of the pieces that we need for the um, goal that we're going to be making. This is uh, originally what we started out with, those massive long um, PVC pipes that you can see over there and we've chopped them down to the sizes that we need. So just to run through the different sizes that I've got, all of the pipings that you can see that are together touching are roughly the same size, and the ones that are separate are slightly different lengths from each other. So starting at the bottom over here, the first two pieces you can see, the really small ones, are 20, um, sorry, are 2.7 inches in um, length. Moving up from there, the two pieces that you can see touching, those are 22 inches. Uh, moving up from that one over there, the one that's sort of standing on its own with the logo or a sticker at the bottom right hand corner of the screen right now, that is 28.6 inches. The one that's slightly above is 29.6 inches. Moving up from there, that's 38.5 inches. The one up above that one is slightly smaller, that's uh, 37.5. Moving up from there, the two that you can see touching are 40.5 um, inches. And moving up from there, those ones that are touching as well, those are 46.8. And moving up again, that is a 49, roughly 49.9 inches is what I got and the one right at the top is 60 inches. The reason that um, I said that we're going for a 72 inch wide goal but the um, top bar or the longest bar which you'd expect to be 72 inches is 60 inches in length is because after you add all of these piping bits to the end of it, it increases the length of the goal on either side. Um, so what we've done is uh, chopped it a little bit smaller to kind of compensate for that and the size of goal that we're sort of estimating this is going to reach is going to be 71 inches which is just a tiny bit shorter than the actual official size so this is um, what, we've, uh, what we hope to sort of um, get at the end of this but we'll see how this goes when we set all of these pieces up. There's a lot of instructions floating around on the internet um, as to how to build these things and the best advice I can give you is to kind of just do it um, freestyle because you'll run into issues where even though you've measured everything perfectly, um, two pieces will connect and they'll be a little bit too long or once you attach the joining pieces onto the um, end of the PVC piping, one end might go in a bit more than another end which again alters the length of the overall pieces that you're working with. So this is sort of just hit and miss. What you want to do is kind of just um, uh, freestyle it and be expecting to have to sort of increase the length of bits and chop down the the, um, the length of bits to get things to fit a little bit more accurately and um, to give you a result that you might be sort of um, uh, more after. So that's the um, sort of best bit, bit of advice I can give you. Now we're going to go ahead and set this up and see how all of this looks. So I've got Josh over there who's going to be setting up the goal. Um, we're going to crack on with this. If he needs my help I'm going to have to like kind of like drop the camera down because like a genius I forgot my tripod. So let's, um, let's get started. I'll show you how easy it is to actually work with. Hopefully. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's going to be the uh, the top bar, right? Yeah. As we said earlier on, it's not 72 inches in length, it's 60 inches because when you add those connecting pieces that you can see right now that he's doing, it increases the length. Uh, we added on the connecting pieces and measured it out and it worked out to be about 71 inches, so we're only an inch short of the um, official goal size, which is uh, pretty cool. So you can see we've put on the um, uh, connecting piece on the end of the uh, longest pole which is going to be the one for the um, top bar and now we are attaching that piece onto the end. This is what we mean by 
it's going to work out much, much longer. So if this thing was 72 inches to begin with, you'd end up with a goal size of about 80 um, inches wide, which is way, way too big. So you can see all of those additional pieces there now makes that goal, um, the um, top part of the goal post or the, um, uh, the top bar, 71 inches, which is um, as close to it as we're going to get. Now, can we assume that these bits are our uprights? I'm guessing they are. Get the uprights on there. So just putting on the uh, bottom end of the goal first so it can kind of hold itself up a bit better. This thing's coming to life. It's not long enough, is it? Try it, try it. I think it will be. Yeah, possibly. No. <laughs> These longer bits, hopefully. <laughs> Is that elbowed out or that? Yeah. It's Actually, no, it's not bad. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Need to do the uh, top shelf now. The next um, bit that would be advised is to label all the pieces so you know which bit goes where. As I said, we kind of just did ours hidden miss. Kind of guesstimated everything, but it, it's worked out quite well. There's the top shelf getting uh, put in now. Dog's coming over to see what we're doing. <laughs> get back so you guys can see what it looks like so there you have it over there there's the unfinished um, goal you can see that it's got a top shelf and as we said it's only an inch shorter than the um, actual official goal sizes which is pretty sweet ours worked out 71 inches after we measured it after setting it all up but as I said um, it's best to just expect to have to cut bits extend the length of bits it's a, this is a sort of um, a freestyle mess around sort of project don't expect it to go smoothly as, as, as possible as I said when you're connecting these pieces over here sometimes you'll find that um, on one side it will go in not very much and then on the other side it will go in way way too much so you kind of have to re um, sort of um, shuffle the length of the of the whole thing which is what we've um, sort of run into while we were doing this. The total cost for building this goal over here not including the net was £30 which is a massive amount less than you'd pay for the Reebok or Winwell goals that you get at hockey stores which retail from something silly like um, £110 to £130 depending on where you get it. Um, as I said, for the net, you can see we've got a massive net over here. We're using a cricket net. Um, you can get those online, eBay, um, or most um, parks and schools you'll find will have old ones that they're happy to just throw away. So it's a good idea to check there before you spend any money. Uh, but the net itself is a cricket net, as I said, and that's what we're going to be using to attach onto the goal. Um, and we'll show you what it looks like after we finished. Just setting up the netting now. Going to be uh, sort of um, threading it through. The net's good quality, you can see that the, the, these, um, the holes aren't too big, so a puck isn't going to be able to go through that. So this is just a quick demonstration of um, what it'll look like after you've finished. You can see that we've just threaded some cable through the net and around the um, tubing to keep the net attached to the goal itself. But you can go further by adding cable ties to secure it even more to make sure it doesn't move. So we're going to reinforce the way we've threaded the net through um, and round the net in and round the um, tubing to keep it attached to the goal. Uh, we're going to attach some cable ties as well just to make sure it's really secure. In terms of how to keep these parts together, you have the option of either gluing them on the inside after you've um, been sure that they're all connected in the right place, or you can just put a, a nail through the top 
and have them screwed in attached that way so they don't move and they don't wobble about so they're nice and secure together. Of course the goal is going to be very very light, you can see it can be picked up real nice and easy. So to keep it and plant it to the ground you can either put some sandbags on top of it or what a lot of people like to do is to fill the tubing up with cement or sand. Um, I'd probably say sand would be a lot easier if you don't mind um, a bit of mess while you're doing it but um, cement can get quite messy uh, but it's, it's another good way of doing it but there's loads of uh, creative ways that you can come up with to keep this thing um, a bit more planted to the ground you could even bolt it to the ground if you're going to keep it in the same place so these are just some ideas of course think of them um, your own think of what's going to work for yourself and um, hopefully you guys will be able to do a sort of similar thing so that's just a quick example of what I mean by the cable ties you can see that the net is planted there that thing's not going anywhere nice and secure we've got some rope going around there you can see the rope threaded through the net and around the tubing and also the cable tie just um, securing that further to it going all the way down of course if you come up with your own way of uh, keeping the net attached to the goal that's fine this is just a suggestion of one of the things that you can do